everyone, I had a vision on February the 25th, 20. And in this vision, I saw a candle and I saw a flame on the candle, like the normal size. And so all of a sudden I heard this electrical sound and this like gust of power hit that flame. And when that gust of power hit that flame, it rose up higher in the air. And so the flame became bigger, but not only did it become bigger, it split in two. And so where there's normally on a candle, um, well, I know you can buy the candles with more than one wick. This candle split, the flame split, and then there was two candle flames and two wicks on that candle. And so I heard the power when it hit, it sounded very electrical and both flames were on there, but then the flames were extended higher. And so because of that, um, the power that hit it jolted me um, because of the force that came with that power. It, when it hit, it jolted me and knocked me out of the vision. And um, the Holy Spirit revealed to me when I came out of the vision um, in my spirit, I was getting anointing, double anointing um, because of the two candle wicks where it went from one and it split into two. So uh, then um, he revealed to me that this represented the anointing that um, he put on Elisha. And um, so he gave me the scripture of Elijah and Elisha when Elijah was getting ready to be taken by God um, up in the sky in a whirlwind. And Elisha, he asked Elisha, what did he want? Um, you know, what was, was there anything that he wanted? And he says, yes, he wanted a double portion of his anointing. He said, you asked for a hard thing, but he says, if you see me when he takes me up, if you still see me, then he says, you know, it's yours basically in so many words, then you can have it. Um, and so Alicia did see Elijah when he was taken up in the whirlwind, when they got separated by the chariot of fire and Alicia inherited the double portion anointing. God transferred Elijah's anointing, um, his mantle went to Elisha, but he doubled the anointing. He gave him what he asked for. And so this particular anointing is coming and it's not for everyone. It is for select individuals that God is going to use in these last days to help bring about this end time harvest. So if he has not um, come to you and um, spoken to you in any dream or you know or vision or through scripture or by word of mouth from another messenger of his then go to him and ask him if you are one of those individuals that he's going to use in these last days to bring in that huge harvest and ask him you know if he's going to give you this anointing because these individuals will have that anointing on them. That is what's going to propel them to be able to work the miracles at the magnitude that they will work them. Um, and I know some of you, God has already come to you and he has already revealed to you that you are um, a part of that in time remnant, you know, that army that he's going to use. So you already know you're a part of that. Well, in knowing that, know that you will receive that anointing on you to be able to fulfill your destiny, your call, and your purpose in the earth. And so that's all that um, he has given me for this vision. And thanks for watching. Bye.